Hello guys, good evening. So in this video, I'm going to give a simple introduction about Ansible. This is our agenda today. So we are going to discuss what is Ansible, Ansible architecture, playbooks, modules, roles, then finally Ansible Galaxy. What is Ansible? As you all are aware that Ansible is a configuration management tool which uses traditional push approach by managing all servers through a single machine running Ansible configuration management tool. That means you have a task of installing HTTPD package in 500 machines. I mean, how will you do that? So, normally we have to go to all the servers one by one, then we'll install the package. That will take one day to install HTTPD in 500 machines. Instead of that, you can use Ansible to install it. So, write a playbook in Ansible server and push the playbook to all the 500 machines in a single go. Uh, these playbooks will be installed, I mean, executed from the nodes and the HTTP package will be installed. Okay, so This is the use of Ansible. Then Ansible architecture. So here in the left hand side you can see local machine and the right side you can see the nodes where the changes needs to be pushed. This local machine consists of modules, uh, playbooks, then the I mean inventory details. So inventory is nothing but where uh, I mean inventory consists of uh, the nodes, details or IP address or names where the task needs to be executed. The module consists of modules and the playbooks playbook consists of plays which needs to be executed in the node the playbooks consist of uh, the I mean the changes what needs to be done in the node okay so and this server Ansible server um, is establishing a SSH connection to Ansible node to install this playbook to the node this is what Ansible architecture says then the playbooks playbooks are nothing but or the files, playbooks are the files where Ansible code is written. Ansible playbooks are written in YAML language. YAML is nothing but yet another markup language. So, uh, on the right hand side, you can see a playbook um, where the plays are, I mean, written. So, the playbook consists of a name. The name is nothing but the name of the playbook. Then, the host, host is by target. Host is nothing but uh, where you want to install these changes. Uh, where you want to push this the, the host details where you want to push the changes and the remote user is nothing but the user detail um, the permission I mean I mean through which user you have to install these changes to the nodes I want to install these changes to the node by using root user okay and the task task is nothing but task consists of uh, plays these, these are plays I have two plays here okay two tasks first task is to install firewall and the next task is to inst start the firewall that's it this is my playbook okay so this is the architecture of playbook playbook consists of name and the host detail where the i mean uh, the place needs to be installed then the user then task okay modules modules are nothing but or modules are uh, i mean discrete units of code that can be used from the command line or in a playbook that means modules are used in playbook, right? Using modules, we are writing a playbook. So, I mean, you can see here, under task, I have used M module and service module. So M module is used to install firewall D and the service module is used to, I mean, start the service. These are the two modules I have used here to write a playbook. So normally, modules are used in playbook. We have number of modules um, to, I mean, number of modules in Ansible documentation which you can use uh, to achieve our task then roles roles are the primary mechanism of a role is breaking a playbook into number of multiple files as you can see here I have two tasks open firewall and uh, sorry install firewall and start the service these are the two uh, tasks I can see here so if you're writing a role with this playbook you can break the task into multiple files to make I mean the playbook I mean compact so this is a simple uh, playbook um, where uh, roles are not required here let's say you have a task of installing web server and a database server okay. in those cases you I mean your playbook will go up to find our lines to deploy your website in the uh, I mean I mean website right in those cases I mean you can make your playbook very compact by using roles right so you can create uh, I mean roles for uh, I mean web server and separate roles for um, what 
uh, so I'm a DB server. The use of those two roles, I mean, the use of creation of those two roles are you can reuse the roles. Let's say you have, I mean, I mean, in future we're getting one more task to install web server and the database server. In those cases, if you create as a role, you can reuse this role there, I mean, which reduces your effort and the time. All right. And this is the structure of role. The structure of role consists of uh, multiple folders, right? Where all the tasks. So in this playbook, see here. These are the tasks. Uh, the first task is installing firewall, and the second task is installing. I mean, starting the firewall, right? This kind of task will go under task directory, okay? And handlers will go under handler directory. And files, index files will go to the files directory and templates will go to template directory. So we have each directory for each purpose. So with the, these roles will make your, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, playbook very compact and very easy to access and easy to read. Right. So this is a use of role. And in this uh, slide, we are going to discuss how these conf configurations are applied in Ansible server to the node right so let's say now you have a task of installing i mean execute i mean installing a web server in the node so now you are writing a playbook playbook is written right so and whenever you are executing a playbook right now you have written a playbook when you are executing a playbook uh, python package the corresponding python package will be created okay and you have inventory details also in your Ansible server. Inventory is nothing but you have the node detail where this package needs to be go. I mean, needs to be installed. That is what the inventory did. Uh, I mean, inventory details. Inventory consists of your, I mean, instance details. Let's say you have, if you have five five servers, this inventory consists of the IP address and the names of five servers. Okay. So then the then once the package is executed, uh, I mean, Ansible server will execute. I mean. SSH connection to Ansible node. Once SSH connection is established, uh, this package will be pushed to the node, right? And from there, it is executed. Once the package is executed in the node, the Python package will be removed, right? Uh, I mean, once the I mean package is executed from the node, the task will be succeeded. Once task is succeeded, the package Python package will be removed. That is what happening in the backend of uh, I mean, a pushing process. How uh, I mean, how the playbooks are executed from uh, I mean, executing in the node. And summary. So in this um, video, we have discussed about and what is Ansible, Ansible architecture, and uh, I mean, what is playbook, what is modules, roles, and how this package are pushed to the node. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.